let's create a function and calculate so it will calculate all the prices so in our new order.php page we have lots of input fields as you can see we start from subtotal and id is also subtotal so here is uh, you can see here we have subtotal then another id is gst and then discount so i'm going to take i'm going to write all those now then it's easy to work so dollar and uh, first one is uh, sub underscore total and next is uh, okay after subtotal we have uh, gst then discount gst then we have discount and uh, again discount then net total paid and due net total paid due so after discount we have net total and then paid then due and uh, okay it's so div payment type okay, it's payment type we don't require now for payment type so let's continue here and let's comment all whenever we need it we will use it one by one save this now okay so first uh, we will calculate the sum of all the we will calculate uh, the sum for example it has okay we will calculate this sum 3000 5000 2000 and we will show the uh, addition in the subtotal field and it is not editable right now it is editable but uh, we will give here uh, we will give here uh, required HTML5 validation hash and uh, we have the class called uh, amount process.php and you can see here we have amount class and in order to chase so I am writing here uh, dot amount dot h and then we will run a function for each amount class and here I'm taking a variable called sub underscore title equal to zero and let's add where subtotal equals to subtotal plus or let's take dollar and uh, this dot uh, it's not an input tag so I cannot write well for that I'm writing HTML but uh, there is a problem of uh, addition it can also concatenate this zero with the this value because it may consider it as a string instead of a number for that let's multiply this with one now it will behave like a number save this and uh, after addition okay we don't know where save it and remove this comment and write here well subtotal save refresh and uh, choose a product okay it's not working because I have not called this cal calculate so let's copy and call here first save now let's take choose product and here you can see uh, the, you can you can see uh, we don't have any subtotal value so now let's take a product 
and uh, we have quantity one the addition is 5000 but here we don't have any uh, 55000 value again we don't have value it's all because uh, uh, I, I i have not changed this quantity once i change this then i will get it now you can see the addition is here so here is uh, some of 5000 and uh, 1 lakh 10000 after addition it will be 1 lakh 15000 yeah, when i change this here and again you will see some change 1 lakh 20000 right so i need to call it from all the places wherever it required like uh, when i'm choosing a uh, product so for example here pid so i need to change call here also calculate now refresh it and now let's see now we have 85000 right and uh, now let's check avira then again we have some changes now add in one more product and samsung led smart tv so the, here is addition of result and when i change the quantity then again i will get the perfect addition right and so everything is working well here now i need to calculate the tax as well as uh, net total right so first calculate tax and then net total let's create a variable called uh, gst equals to okay it's initially it is zero then where again uh, net underscore total equal to zero and right and right here calculate the first value and uh, it is gst equals to dollar okay gst is 18 percent right so 18 percent uh, in terms of 100 we can write it as 0 0.18 with the addition uh, multiplication and the uh, subtotal is uh, no, okay subtotal we have already so now gst is calculated and then we will show this gst here dot l and you can see gst then now calculate the net total so net total will be uh, gst value plus and we have subtotal amount and put in net total field here net total save now let's see our output so we ran antivirus and you can see we have uh, quantity one uh, result is 1200 and then finally we have subtotal is 1200 gst of 1200 is 18 percent of 1200 is 216 and the note total net total is 1416 now we need to work on this discount and rest of the thing is working perfect everything is going well right Now let's work on discount for now place a value for discount is zero and uh, what we can do with discount is dollar hash discount dot okay key now we will check a function key up so dollar and this dot well we have discount and now let's call the function calculate and pass the discount as a parameter and receive her discount also 
discount and uh, we can say her variable discount okay we should change the name discount equals to this so now we have discount this and then here i can say discount is so once we have net total then we can subtract the value of discount okay our net total will be changed and it will be net total minus discount and here it will be this discount is nothing but discount and net total will be net total now let's see the effect of this code we draw antivirus and quantity one price is 1200 no effect on discount when our net total is not a number and then it says is zero discount is zero and let's give a discount of uh, so after G adding this gst it is 1416 and let's give a discount of uh, 216 now it is again to 1200 so we have to work on this here is not a number case let's pass here zero discount is zero here also discount is zero where wherever we have calculate i will pass zero because initially we are not giving a uh, discount okay now let's see the output and it's perfect let's give a discount uh 216 then again it will be 1200 right now let's work on paid now let's call dollar and hash paid dot key up run a function and it is and i can say here okay variable create first create a variable and name it as paid dollar this dot so we have paid dot val and uh, i can call the calculate function but before that i also need the discount because i have to pass both dollar and uh, discount has discount dot value okay we have paid and discount now calculate first pass the discount then paid right save it and here also i need to pass the paid amount so i will paid will be zero here because we are not passing any paid value Paid. Okay, it's fine. Now create a variable and name it is as paid amount equals to paid. Okay, now calculate the paid. So now calculate the due variable, right? Due equals to zero, and let's take the value. equals to and it will be paid amount first it is net total minus paid amount right so net total uh, net total minus paid amount will give me a due and here i can say dot well and right here due I hope it will work. Refresh and uh, choose a product.
and you can see the paid amount is due amount is the total so let's uh, paid something okay let's take a small budget product antivirus so price is 1200 and uh, we have discount is zero let's give a discount of 216 now the net total is 1200 now let's pay uh, let's pay one and you can see 1199 here now again press two it is 1188 zero it is 1080 and again zero finally it is zero so it's working fine in this video this is enough and if there is any problem i will recheck it and i will uh, make a video another video for that thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe have a nice day